From the patient's history and chest x-ray findings, he likely has a lung abscess, which can result from aspiration pneumonia. This patient is at an increased risk for aspiration pneumonia because of seizures and a tendency to lose consciousness. The sputum usually shows multiple organisms when a lung abscess is present. Anaerobes are also commonly found in these infections. Therefore, an antibiotic must be selected to cover oral anaerobes and must also cover those that produce beta-lactamase. Some common anaerobes that cause aspiration pneumonia are Peptostreptococcus, Fusobacterium, Prevotella, and Bacteroides species, such as B. fragilis. Of the above answer choices, choice C, Piperacillin tazobactam, is the best answer, as it will cover oral anaerobes, including those with beta-lactamase strains, while penetrating above the diaphragm. Let's go over the other answer choices. Choice A, ciprofloxacin, is ineffective in treating anaerobes. Choice B, metronidazole, is effective in treating anaerobes, but a rule of thumb is that it usually works against anaerobes below the diaphragm. A helpful mnemonic, like a subway metro functions below the ground, metronidazole acts below the lung diaphragm. When the anaerobes are above the diaphragm, clindamycin, or agents like piperacillin and tazobactam, work against the beta-lactamase producing strain of anaerobes. Choice D, ceftriaxone, can treat anaerobes, but is still not effective against the strains that produce beta-lactamase. And finally, choice E, trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole, will not work against oral anaerobes.